Hey everyone, this is Vittorio. In the last episode, we installed the Apex SM10 RS and the Falcon Azenis RT660s. In this episode, we install a front lip and side skirts from Save On Carbon, and we'll have a look at one of the most favorite mods for any Subaru, window visors. First thing you want to do is grab a friend because I tried to install it by myself and I almost dropped the lip. Once you grab a friend or a coworker, go ahead and look at the mounting locations and line them up. First thing I noticed was the diameter of the pop clips were slightly larger than the holes that were on the lip itself. So I went ahead and grabbed the drill just to expand the holes a little bit. This allows for the push pins to go through smoothly. Once the mounting locations were drilled, I decided to install it onto the bumper by just using the pop clips. This allowed me to look at where I need to drill more holes in order to bolt the front lip onto the bumper. I wanted to make sure that at least parts of the front lip was bolted on so that way it wouldn't fall off when driving. Once the front lip was installed, I brought the car down a little bit just to see if I could get away with just running the carbon fiber front lip. But with the front lip, the car in the front looked a lot more aggressive than every other part of the car. So we went ahead and installed the side skirts. Uh, side skirts were a lot more simple to install just because you could take them off the car easily. I believe it was held on by eight or 10 pop clips. Once those were removed, all I had to do was open the door and pull the side skirt off. I pulled the side skirts off because it made it easier for me to line up the carbon fiber side skirts to it. And this made it easier overall to drill and bolt the new side skirts on. With that in mind, I drilled the outermost mount first in the front, followed by the rear. This made it easier to drill and mount the rest of the bolts throughout the side skirts. Putting the side skirt on, I was just a little bit more careful as obviously there's now carbon fiber involved. And after that, it was just put the clips back on and close the doors and make sure it snaps into place. Adding the side skirts balanced out the front, middle, and rear of the vehicle. As of now, I think just the stock rear is a little bit busy and takes a lot of visual real estate from the car. So that's why I kind of just left it as is. After installing the side skirts, there was one more mod I was curious about, which is window visors. I always see them on Subarus, but I've never had any window visors on any of my cars. So luckily our friends from Well Visors sent us a set and I went ahead and installed it on the Subaru. I'm usually not a fan of these as they usually protrude out of the windows a little bit too much for me, but the design of this one is very sleek and kind of stealth as it blends in with the windows pretty well. My first thought after installing the carbon fiber kit was the car might be too low to clear driveways as I'm already running the Sportline kit. If you didn't know, the iVox Sportline kit drops the car 1.4 inches in the front and 1.6 inches in the rear. Luckily, I still had some clearance left and I didn't have to alter the driving much at all. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. The carbon fiber is an added detail that's nice to appreciate and it also makes the car look very aggressive. And that wraps up this episode of the WRX build series. I believe in the next episode, we'll be looking into power mods. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.